friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Redman, and if you're new here, hello. <laughs> I make videos on home decor, homemaking, and lifestyle. Today I'm going to take you along with me while I go and shop Hobby Lobby's new spring line. Um, I'm super excited just because I want to find some items to place around my house now that it's newly painted. Um, and we are currently remodeling our entire bathroom as well, so <laughs> we'll see if I find anything for that room. Um, but other than that, without further ado, let's just get right on into it. Okay, so first I'm just going to give you a little bit of a snip pit, snipped bit of um, Hobby Lobby's Easter products. They have a ton of Easter stuff out right now to decorate if you guys are into that. I'm not really into that. Um, but they had a lot of items for Easter, so make sure you go pick that up if you are interested in that. Um, and then they also had these cute little bunny Easter mugs that I thought were so cute. <laughs> um, but first thing, I wanted to run through the kitchen stuff. There's something about kitchen items that I really love. They had a lot of bright colors like blues and pinks and yellows, again, that kind of go along with that Easter theme if you guys are into that. personally love these more um, mid-tone darker natural tone colors especially um, this little apron I almost picked it up but I didn't and I kind of regret it but I thought it was just so cute the sage green um, that's in right now they also had some pretty blues and whites and a lot of floral items as well Next is the aisle of black and whites and woods. They have these really pretty patterned kitchen items and these black pieces of pottery that I just loved. Um, I thought the contrast in the matte color of the porcelain was pretty and then these wood pieces I thought were so 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 cool. They did have a lot of these pieces last year but they have added to them this year so if you haven't had a chance to check them out be sure to do that. They also had shorter or mini versions of the aprons in more neutral tones as well. They also had a lot of jute pieces like these placemats and, um, and then they had these little Ray Dunn items for the kitchen that I thought were so so cute but I didn't need anything but I thought they were super cute so if you love Ray Dunn they have a ton of her line right now at Hobby Lobby. And then of course the wall of organization. I was tempted to pick up some of those baskets just to reorganize some stuff for my bathroom, but I thought I'd wait. <laughs> Next are the rugs. Um, they had some bath mats as well. Um, I was tempted to pick up another one of these for the outside, but since here in the Midwest it is still snowy and cold, I thought I'd wait for the first good spring day to go and splurge on one of those. But they do had some, did have some really cute pieces. They also had um, their wall of pillows out as well. Again, florals were really in this year. They seem to be trending. I see them everywhere that I go. Um, but I personally really loved the farmhouse stripes, as you'll see right here. And then I went ahead and looked in the regular furniture slash wall decor. All of the wall decor right now um, throughout the store is 50% off, even if it's not on the spring line. Spring line is just 40% off. But they did have some really cute, unique pieces like these um, big clocks and these really tall candle holders and things like that. They had some really, really cool pieces that you should check out if you get the chance. I 
thought this wall of mirrors was really cool and these older um, traditional style mirrors were super super beautiful so if you need a full-size mirror i suggest you check out hobby lobby again their spring line is 40 percent off and then there are these wall decor signs that were really pretty um, they are also 40 percent off all right, friends, we are back at home and I did pick up some things from Hobby Lobby that I just wanted to do a quick like little haul and show you guys what I got. I also did order some dried florals from them that I wanted to also show you guys that I will likely be incorporating into my decor as well. I know dried florals aren't as popular in the spring, but it's been pretty cold here in the Midwest, so I wanted to kind of go with that vibe of dried florals in my home. So. Here are some of the items that I found. <laughs> First were these cute little jars. Um, I don't know if you can see those. They have these little ridges on them that were thought were super cute, but they were a little bit more modern with the black sleek lids. These are pretty large, but they were only $7.99 and they were also 40% off. So I thought I'd pick up two of these and use them in my um, little hutches that are in my dining room. If you've seen any of my clean and decorate with, with me, as you know I love to decorate those. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some like flour and sugar or something like that in here and just display them in those hutches. But I thought these were super pretty and I'm trying to incorporate more black now that downstairs is a little, is a little bit more white. Um, I thought that would be really pretty for that. So these were really a really good deal because they were so cheap for being so large, but check it out. I also picked up these two little hanging pieces of greenery. I thought they were so pretty and delicate looking. Um, each one of these were $4.99 and they were 50% off, but I thought I might put them together and hang them in like a basket or something or just inside um, some sort of vase or something hanging on the wall. I'm not sure yet, but I did make, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm not sure, but I did make a um, hanging coat rack that's gonna go on the wall where you walk in on the entryway. I'm thinking of maybe hanging a basket or maybe just put a vase on it and hang these in there. I thought that would look really pretty and really delicate and then it is green for spring <laughs> but I thought it would be really pretty so the florals are all 50% off right now. I don't know how long that's going to last but if you are looking for greenery for um, your spring decor or just in general I would check out Hobby Lobby since they do have that discount going on. I also picked up these cute little wooden spoons. I don't know if you can see those. I'm trying to get the focus. Um, they have a lot of these. They're all different prices depending on the type of wood that they were. These are Acadia wood. And I thought these would be really cute in one of the pictures in my hutches as well. Just kind of put them in there on display because I have some that I actually used to cook with. I thought these would be pretty just as a display. And so um, I want to use those for that. But um, I wanted to use a little, a little bit more wood and grays and blacks in my hutches again because the whole dining room is now white. I thought that would be really pretty to do a little bit more of a neutral tone with everything. And so this was just something I picked up for that and maybe I'll use it in the future for other things but I thought they were really pretty so and these were $3.99 and they were 40% off all right the next thing I picked up were these cute little black bowls Again, I don't know if this is gonna focus for you but um, they're just ceramic bowls it looks like they are painted black but I thought they were super pretty I have a lot of um, off whites and fake marble pieces in my hutch that I thought this would be a good contrast again I want to bring in some of those blacks like I said I got two of these and they were $6.99 and they were 40% off um, and the aisle of woods like where I got those um, wooden little spoons and things like that these were in there as well and they had a lot of kitchen items that were like black and white plaid and things like that but I really enjoyed just the black ceramic plates and pots and um, bowls so I thought these would be really pretty in my hutch so and then I also picked up this cute little tier um, tray they do have different sizes of these but this is um, $24.99 it's called it's for the spring tableware line and then it was 40% off but I also thought this would be cute in my little hutches in the dining room as well um, just again to bring in some of that contrast to all of the whiter, lighter, <laughs> lighter and white colors that I have going on in there. Um, I, I love a lot of natural wood pieces and so I thought this would be really cool to utilize and maybe do some different height and pieces in the hutch as well. 
Um, so stay tuned for a clean and decorate for me to see how I use these. But I was I was tempted to pick up more, but I decided just to get one and see if I liked it, and then get more if I if I did like it the way I think I'm going to. So and last but not least are dried florals. These are items that I actually bought online. Um, my store doesn't that I, that is. My Hobby Lobby store that is near me doesn't actually carry a ton of dried florals except for in the fall line. Um, so I went and ordered these online but I really loved them and so I wanted to show you guys what they look like before I actually utilize them in my Clean and Decorate With Me's that are coming soon. But let's go ahead and show you those. Okay, first is this Rainbow Grass Bouquet is what it's called. It kind of looks like hair. <laughs> um, and I don't want to take all of it out or anything, so I'm just going to slide it up. But I thought this would be really pretty along with some of the other dried florals that I have. Um, but it, it kind of looks like hair. I might chop some of that off so it looks a little bit more like wheat. And it does like look, look more like wheat deeper down. But I like the softness of it. I have a lot of um, fake greenery pieces that it looked a lot more chunky, I guess you could say. So I thought this would be a nice contrast to all of those pieces that I have. And next is these happy flowers is what they're called these were $7.99 the grass was also $7.99 these I thought were super pretty for spring um, if you can see those they're like a yellow and white color but these they're like these super tiny little florals but they're dried and I thought they were super pretty again to add some of that texture back in and with some colors that are different from the whites and the grays that I've had going on in my house for a long time. So I thought the yellow would be fun for spring but I liked that they were dry so I could reuse them or um, they just won't go bad as quickly. <laughs> but I thought they'd be really pretty and I'm probably going to use a lot of these florals to create some bouquets or just put smaller pieces of them in little um, tiny bases so we'll see how that goes but I thought these were just absolutely darling. Next is this Gypsy Grass Natural. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. If you can see these, there you go. Yeah, so um, these are again also just little tiny, tiny, tiny florals. Um, but they've been dried, so they're a little more brown rust color, and I think. They were just super pretty and delicate, and so I'm excited to use bits and pieces of these in little bouquets all throughout the house uh, in some sort of capacity. But I love the delicate um, look to them, like I said, and I thought that would be pretty for the contrast to the stark blacks that I'm going to be using, especially in our bathroom maybe. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening. Um, but I really loved that, the way that this looked. So I'm excited to see how I can incorporate it into the different vases and parts of my downstairs and upstairs. So, And then, the last one I got was called Panic Panicum? I don't know, something like that. This is a little more of a green color. Um, and these, there you go, that's a good picture, are like little seeded pieces of florals. Um, and these are quite large. <laughs> but I thought this would also be really pretty because they have the soft grass, the bigger florals, the smaller florals, and this is kind of like seeded grass pieces. And I thought all together that would look really pretty in a bouquet. Um, so I'm excited to play around with that and see how I can get all these pieces to fit together. Um, but I thought having the green on top of the more neutral colors would be a nice little combination of colors for the spring because like I said, I don't use uh, I, I have a lot of fake greenery already and so this would go really well with that already if I wanted to utilize it with some of that as well. Um, eventually I'm going to just shop my house and <laughs> put everything together and see what works well but I'm excited to bring you along with me in that in that process. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me. Um, I'll also probably be doing a bathroom makeover video here soon because like I said apparently we are remodeling our entire bathroom <laughs> I think I told you guys in one of my last videos of my design inspiration that I originally planned on just doing board and batten in the bathroom and that turned into just completely gutting the whole thing and we're just going to remodel it and I'm super excited about it and so I'm excited to show you guys the final product and style it with me um, so that will be coming as well, so stay tuned. But other than that, thank you again for hanging out with me, and I hope you guys have a blessed day.